Hello, sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl, Sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do, boo. I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your girl, Sweets. So we're going to tap right in to see what it is that the Holy Spirit has for my sweet loves. All right, Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Sweet loves, I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe time at the time that this message re reaches you. We're going to get right into it. Ancestors might got something to say. What is it that you have for my sweet love spirit? Hmm. So heavy on a narcissist energy. Um This could be masculine or feminine energy. I'm just uh, thinking back to a recent, very recent download that I received. But uh, fears and anxiety setting in is in reverse. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. With past in the past, don't look back. And the Ten of Swords, along with this fears and anxiety, setting it in reverse. Someone is letting go of the past. Okay, someone may have dealt with the narcissist in the past. Yeah, it's time. It's time to let this go. I had my watch on and I just took just took it off. So that's that's the omen. It's time. It's time to let something go. This is a Michael Kors watch. Someone named could be Michael. Someone named Kors Kor or Kors could be significant. MK, the, the way this is here. You see it's an MK and the Michael Kors. So the initials MK could be significant. Um, yeah, someone's name could be Core. Someone could like to wear Michael Kors. Someone could have a Michael Kors watch. Take it where it resonates. Okay? But I just heard M and M, M, so I don't know. Someone could be chocolate. M and M and M's are chocolate candy, so someone could be chocolate. Okay, can't beat confirmation. So someone may have dealt with the narcissist in the past and um, it may have held them back at some point. But from what I'm seeing here, someone is releasing the past. Someone is releasing the betrayals of the past and not letting it hold them back. There's no fears and anxieties here surrounding whatever these betrayals are. Someone is moving on from past betrayals. Yep. Could be masculine or feminine energy here. Yeah, five of pentacles. Someone could be leaving people out in the cold. One person could be two people. It's two people here. Confirmation. Fears and anxiety setting in, in reverse. Someone is no longer fearful of walking away. Someone could be leaving. Shit, you could be leaving up to five people uh, out in the cold. Take it where it resonates. Okay? Someone is moving on. I'll be moving on. 
moving on, moving on. I'll be moving on. Yeah, someone is having the strength. Someone is having the strength and courage to leave someone out or leave several people out in the cold that have betrayed them. With the strength card of Leo could be significant. Whoever this is from your past is lurking in, this, lurking in the shadows with bad intentions. Okay, they could be miserable at this time and misery loves company. Okay, yeah, this person is at a loss. Who was that that sung that song, um, Moving On? That was Maya, right? Somebody's name could be Maya. Maya could be significant. What else, Spirit? Your heart chakra needs healing and clearing. What pain still sits with you? I'm waiting for this union. I feel like with this heart chakra needs healing, I feel like that may be this past person that's lurking in the shadows because we're. it's being displayed that there's an energy that's not fearful of moving on someone is having strength after being betrayed so i mean now take away it resonates you know maybe there is a little bit of stuff on the you know an inside that is um yes no yes i'm recording excuse me sweet love so take it where it resonates, okay? But I strongly feel as if... I strongly feel as if... Yeah, I don't have to be just put it there. As if that's this person who's lurking in the shadows. Now we got to wait for this union. So with that... Yeah, believe in divine timing. I feel like someone could be having the strength to move forward and move past several betrayals or several people that have betrayed them, specifically this past person who's lurking in the shadows and awaiting for a divine connection. Yeah, I feel like these, see, the way these cards feel, I feel like they're on two opposite ends. Yeah. For some, um, some of y'all, a mean female going to call and expose some things to you because they want to heal things. So this could be a, a family member, a friend, a co-worker, take away, it resonates. But somebody going to call you and expose some things because they want to heal a connection. They feel burdened. Yeah, and triggered. Oh, that was a lot. Somebody could be awakening. So this person could be awakening or this could be... Um, oh. So y'all could be awakening or somebody could be awakening to the fact that Someone is really, you know, like the same sex. We got thoughts here. But with the Brokeback Mountain and girl talk thoughts, I don't know. Somebody could be, somebody could be fig trying to, oh, okay, yeah, look, clarity. So there's a masculine energy who's wondering if, a feminine energy is, is discussing them being into the same sex with other females being during girl talk. So I, initially I was getting friends, but you could be having girl talk with friends, family, coworkers, whoever. Okay. But there's a masculine energy that's wondering if conversations are being had amongst a feminine energy and other feminine energies about them being into the same sex. So take that where it resonates, okay? Mm -hmm. Ancestor said, that's the truth. What else do you have, Spirit? Thank you. 
every love someone sounds like us so whoever this person that you left out in the cold that you was in some sort of union with you guys connect telepathically a third party could be significant love triangle at the bottom now this person could be sending you this past person could be sending you telepathic um communication through music telling you that they they uh, want a union with you possibly that they want to marry you page of wands this is somebody yeah oh this is somebody that like to run around town sleeping around yeah look page of wands the runner reckless reckless running around sleeping around is what caused them to lose you 16 could be significant 10 16 look girl talk girl talk Someone wants to know I just feel like this masculine is thinking about the conversations that this feminine is having. I don't even feel like this is him wanting to talk with her. It could be especially because they're already sending telepathic communication. But Mm, I feel what I feel. He could even possibly be wanting to know if it's being said that he's at a loss. But this girl talk here, if the conversation is about, is about him being in a five of cups and his five of cups energy. Take that where it resonates. What else do you have, spirit? Look, concern in reverse. Right back up there at the top where it already showed that somebody is releasing fears and anxieties. They're releasing fears and anxieties and they're releasing concern. They don't give a fuck about leaving somebody out in the cold no more. They having a strength and a courage because this person is too reckless sexually. And they running behind... Thank you, spirit. They running behind, chasing behind men. Soul mirroring, exposing and revealing all that camera just beat. Whoever this person is, they may be in a union. They may be in a commitment. They Shit, they could even be married. But somebody chasing ass, and I don't mean woman ass. Okay? This is where that, why that broke back mountain. See him here with the bond? And the man he chasing after the man here, this is why he being left out in the cold because he's running around reckless, okay, sexually, and he likes men. Look, poor judgment, poor judgment. Now, ooh, for some of you guys, okay. This this masculine energy could like transgender men. That camera just beat. This masculine energy could like transgender men. Cause look, it's a woman here, right? That he looking at. But it's a man here. And we already know that he's we already know. Ancestors Kim said boop. We already know that he chasing behind me. Spirit already let that with the broke back mountain, but we see it visually here. But he like men that look like women. Could have had you in third party with 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 the. With the transgender person um we got trick ass bitch and the other card was love triangle so someone may know this information because if this individual is worried about you discussing this with your friends 
And for some of y'all, y'all is to discussing this with y'all friends. Look, <laughs> spirit say yes. Yes, the shirt said right there. Y'all is discussing this. Y'all is discussing whatever's going on here is being discussed. Whatever loss is going on here or breakup is being discussed. Somebody is happy with having another person in a third party. This transgender person could have two masculines. This, 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 uh, uh, you know, feminine. And you state that a, this transgender person could have two male lovers. And your person or whoever they are connected to you could be one of them. But the way they were, the, the two men was in the picture with the girl as if they know about each other. So I don't know if this is two people, two friends messing with one person. I mean, it could be. It don't have to be a transgender. For some of you guys, it may not be. Okay? But take what resonates, leave what does not. But there's someone who appears to be a feminine energy, whether they are or whether they are not, that could be dating two masculines or sleeping with two masculines that know each other. They could be having threesomes. They all three on that picture. Oh, look. Somebody is ending this, dead in the situation. Dead in the situation. I mean, shoot, for some of you guys, you could be running from them and they running, chasing, whatever they chasing, playing around with these hidden intentions and desires. And they may be running right into a ditch, to say the least, while you running from them. choosing the right path for us so this person has all what they have going on but they still gonna come towards you just know that they still are gonna come towards you okay why because you the privileged lady two 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 because you balanced because <laughs> you balanced somebody want to know who you're traveling with Wow, because you balance, okay? You know what path to take. You ain't out here running around, screwing around like they doing, okay? You, you, you're not doing that. You're not, you're balanced. You're not, you know, a friendly lover. You don't just give it up to any and everybody. You know, you more balanced with your sacred energy. You don't play that, okay? Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. 22, 12 could be significant. 12, 19. Someone could be 33. 12, 16. Yeah, you running from being in a relationship with this, this person. This is someone that you deaded a connection with because you realized that they had hidden intentions and desires. You realize what it was. Some of you could feel like this person was using you as a cover-up. Some of y'all about to get some good news. What else do you have, Spirit? Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit. Give me a word that will bring new life. Patience is needed. Stop trying to rush everything. We have everything under control. So for some of you guys, you could be really running away from this situation or this um, connection. Oh, yes. Coffee again. What is going on? Community? Now, some of y'all really could have to travel to go to a funeral. Somebody could feel like they've been going, going to funerals left and right.
someone may get um someone may get someone may there may be a loss in the mix of a robbery it's a feminine energy oh yeah oh double confirmation the queen of wands again okay struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs it's a feminine energy that may that may set this up they might have did it for some sort of money confirmation the camera just be so a feminine energy may Ooh. set up some yeah look girl with the snake a feminine energy may set up some sort of robbery and there may be a death in the mix of the robbery but some of you guys could be running away from this past person that's into whatever they into okay undercover love a brother type of situation and you could be, you know, saying, all right, spirit, I done ran away from them. I'm I'm over them, you know, with my new love coming in. When I'm going to be able to be in a relationship? Spirit saying, chill, baby, they got you. Patience, little brother. Patience, little sister. Patience, patience. Okay. So y'all could be lacking love right now. Y'all want to be in the two of cups. Y'all want to be in the two of cups. Y'all like, spirit, where's my boo? And I, I think of you. I want to be your lady, baby. If your game is strong, give me a call, boo. If your love is going to give my all to you. Okay, so y'all looking for a boot thing. Y'all ready to have a boot thing set? I'm done with this zero. I'm ready to get with a hero. Spirit says, slow down, cowboy, cowgirl. Somebody could be a Cowboys fan. Somebody could be from Dallas, okay? I just need a break from Dallas. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, and that camera just beat. Um, but who is that? Dage Loaf, I think, sing that song, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Dallas could be significant. Okay, Texas could be significant. Take it where it resonates with you, but does not. But somebody ready to have a boot thing because they said, Yeah, I'm running away from all the snakes and the fakes, all the people that was lying and being undercover brothers. Or sisters, or mothers, or cousins, or brothers, okay? Like, living your truth. Living your truth. Don't don't hide who you are, because it's going to come out. One day, one day, everything hidden will be revealed, okay? So, you know, you could run from who you are, but at the end of the day, it'll haunt you, because you ain't living your truth. You're not being your true authentic self. You know? And demons will overtake you. Them parts of you that you try so hard to keep hidden. It'll overtake you. It'll overtake your mind. It'll consume you. And one day the message just slip off. One day you just won't be able to hide it. Somebody love tricking. It makes, it, 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 all it do is make their life miserable, but they love doing it. It's crazy. I don't understand who this is. How all you do is trick and it make your life miserable, but you love doing it. Somebody is addicted to toxicity. Somebody could have been raised in a chaotic home. This could be a generational thing. This non-committal energy. All right. Yes, ancestor said that's the truth. Your root chakra is off. Reground yourself by dancing and meditating more so you are balanced. Now, this came out in reverse, okay? So, this is what I'm, what I'm saying. Someone is really gaining the strength and the courage to move forward and leave the past behind, okay? That's why I said, this. what was that ancestor message over there about the healing? I didn't feel like that was, the, that was my sweet loves. I felt like that was confirmation that just dropped. I felt like that was this past person that needed to get grounded and that still got pain within them, which is why they're acting like they don't have no home training. 
It's one of them wild animals that we had that's watching you, sweet love. Setting clear boundaries. Okay, now that did come out in reverse. All right. So that could just be stating that that you're balanced, okay, and you may have boundaries, but this person could be boundless, okay? Which makes sense why it came out with the card that it came out with, okay, talking about the root chakra. And you, you know, being in a balanced energy, you're balanced, they're not. This and look where it's going, right? With the page ones, this come on now. Thank you, spirit says chill, chill, sweets. I got you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna get it out there for you. Yeah, this king of wands, risky business. That's that's the type of person this is. They they indulge in risky business, okay? And they could be a leader of some sort. This person, like people, follow the bullshit that they do. So they live life recklessly and, and, and encourage others uh, in so many ways. Because if you if you a leader, you know, you, you're leading the people to do whatever it is that you do. So this person could lead people to turn their lives upside down. Because that's what this is. With this set and clear boundaries and upright, okay, things are in order for the most part. In reverse, it, everything is upside down. Everything is upside down in this person's life. Okay? Everything's upside down. And your life is balanced. Okay? Your life is balanced. Some of you guys may get some sort of public attention and you could have... Um, you could be financially stable. You could have um, an Aquarius that's uncertain if you're going to take their cup of love. This person could be trying to get the inside scoop on you. They're burdened. They want, they want you to accept their cup of love. Mm, but it's a main female stalking or they stalking you. They could be stalking you with the stalking main female, or they have a main female stalking them. Damn. So I don't know. This could be the same sex situation. This broke back mountain guard just keep coming out. So I don't know. Now maybe this could be this person. Yeah, look, romance in broke back mountain. Somebody is. I don't know. Spirit wants want y'all to know that somebody is into the same sex, okay? Spirit wants y'all to know that. Ready to take lead and control. So, yeah, some of y'all are ready to start dating. <laughs> some of y'all are ready to start dating and having conversations and talking on the phone with your boo at night. But spirits that have patience, it's going to come. Okay, double confirmation with that camera beeping. What else, spirit? Yeah, look, romance is going to come, baby. Love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture and hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. Okay, so I don't know. Just know you could be wanting, you know, the new or you could be wanting to date and talk, but you may have someone. You could have a crush on somebody and you want to talk to that person. They may, that may be talking about them that they may be reaching out. Okay. Oh yeah. Look, the star talent and lovers. So Aquarius could definitely be significant. Take away resonates. 39, 15 could be significant, but I don't know. I just feel like somebody may feel like another person and that be this. Another person is talented. Okay, now it could be for some of y'all with this lovers here, they could feel like you talented in the bedroom, okay? Now take away it resonates, but this person could feel like you're skilled and talented at whatever it is that you do. But with that lovers there, you know, oh look, and it came out again, lovers and talent. It could be um, you know, they feel like you talented. 
your spicy side. They're intrigued by your spicy side, sweet loves. Okay. They're intrigued by your spiciness. Okay. Did I read Iron Balance? Two, two, two. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. Okay. Right here, we just had full out. Believe in divine timing. Hopelessly devoted to you. Twin flame union approaching. So a twin flame is going to be coming towards you. If you've been carrying any burdens, you're about to get some good news. Okay. Could be from an official person. But, um, yeah. Some of you guys could be coming into a union in, in divine timing. I was about to say, <laughs> and beloved and believing but divine timing. I don't know how I got tongue tied like that, sweet loves. But keep doing what you're doing, sweet loves. I love to see this. I love to see my sweet loves coming up out of fears and anxiety. That means y'all putting in the work. Y'all ain't giving a damn about what the head they got to say. Okay, y'all seeing these people for who they are. Okay, not allowing anyone to deter you from trusting your intuition seeing the truth in situations listen hey you know people's sexual uh preference or orientation that's their business but at the end of the day if you're not with it if that's what it is okay stand firm on your beliefs don't let nobody coerce you into anything different Cause at the end of the day, this your life you fighting for. You know? Somebody running out here being risky, doing it with any and everybody. They don't give a fuck about themselves. You know they don't give a fuck about you. Keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. Okay? Let them walk. Let them walk. Move, move, move right out of my life. Move it, move it. Out of my life. Okay? Let them move. Move around. Make space for the new. Take it as a lesson learned. Pay attention moving forward. Okay? 129 could be significant. January 29th, September 12th, September 21st, 219. All right? But that's what I have for you guys, sweet love. I hope you guys enjoyed this read. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Book a read with sweet. Okay? My information is in the description box below. Please make sure you go ahead and click that like button as well as that post notification bell as well as that subscribe button, baby. Because we're on the road to 144K, okay? So hop in the driver's seat with your homegirl, sweet. And help us get this, sweet love. Good day.